about Peyton Manning. He's the best quarterback in the league. And also, I'm starting him, so if he does well, then we're going to then the Niners lose. So. Mel says that the 49ers probably aren't going to win today. That's not a faithful fan, in my opinion. No, I'm being realistic. It's against the Den Denver Broncos. <clears throat> Mabu, hi! It is, what day is the 18th or 7th? 7th 19th. <laughs> It is the 19th day of Vlogtober, which means that we have been blogging for 19 days. Can you guys believe it? Man, I was telling my friends yesterday at the wedding about it, and um, they were really encouraging. They were really supportive, and in fact, some of them are going to start vlogging too. So cool. I'm glad that we can get this rolling. I want to see all my friends vlogging because I feel like everybody's life is so different, and everybody's perspective is so unique like what you guys see is through our perspective right um so everybody's perspective is different so it would be so interesting to see that and um yeah i mean forget all the reality tv shows that are already in tv like i think my friends are a lot more entertaining than what i see on tv right mel oh yeah of course yeah of course <laughs> um i have no idea what you just said sorry i'm just packing up what stuff. you're not listening to every word i say Sorry. Bad boy. Anyways, this is where we slept last night. It's like, I don't know, the, the decoration is like kind of Victorian-esque. Yeah. Um, let me open the blind so I look a little bit more flattering. Uh, yeah. This is the bathroom. Very cute. It's a two-bedroom. We didn't know it was a two-bedroom when, when we got here. They advertised it as a one-bedroom. And then Marco came last minute with us. And um, the guy saw him and said, Oh, you have three with you? We might have, like, one more room. Oh, there he is. One more bedroom available. And he let us stay in that room with no extra charge. Living room. Um, the other room. The dining room. It's kind of a mess because we've been really hanging out. Uh, bat, um, kitchen. It's like a gallery kitchen or galley kitchen. And then the backyard. Very cool. Kind of a view. Oh, the best part though. Check this out. The fridge. Full. It's kind of stocked. He has beer. Chocolate milk. Um, cream cheese, very cool, water, that's fully stocked, and of course you have your cereal and popcorn, so yeah, ooh, this Keurig, very cool, so yeah, that came with the Airbnb, and we ordered pizza, or we had pizza last night, not gluten free, it was like regular pizza, and we made pizza before the wedding, and put it in the oven, um, yeah, so if you're thinking about going on vacation or anywhere, this is the second time we've done Airbnb and we're actually really happy with it. Okay, so we're here at Cannery Row and we're headed to the aquarium now. Gorgeous view of the water. Let's try to zoom in. Very cool. Last time we were here, when was it? Years ago. Yeah, it was a couple years ago. We didn't get to see the aquarium. We just kind of hung out here. It ate a lot. And this was because oh, yeah. of our Airbnb. So Yeah, the tickets actually came with the Airbnb. Yeah, not only was it a great place to stay, but incorporated in the price, we pretty much had that place for what sixty dollars a night. Yep. So it worked out in the end. Uh, since these passes are about forty dollars each in value, uh, it worked out in the end, so we're pretty excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is this is definitely remodeled since we've been here. This just got my clam chowder. The best clam chowder I had was when we went to Pismo uh, Beach. What is it called? Again? Splash Cafe. Splash Cafe. It's so good. Mm. What do you think? Is it better than Splash? 
doesn't pale in comparison, but Splash Cafe has a slight bleed, but this is like creamy. Because on oyster, uh, what is this? Slider? Chicken slider? It looks like a crab cake. Looks like a crab cake. Bacon wrapped shrimp, uh, crab, olives. Crab in a lemon cup, right? Yeah, crab and lemon cup, and then crab sprinklings over here. This is by far like, the best. <laughs> At least looking one. Give it a give it a taste. See how it tastes. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. I wonder if they can make it taller. Mm -hmm. I love Bloody Mary. It's spicy but sweet. Mmm. Tangy. Nice kick to it. Good oyster. Marco was just telling us how he found his phone through Find My Phone app, right? Yeah. And that actually works. I didn't never I never heard of anybody like actually being successful with that, but I guess in this case it worked. He was able to get his phone back and he they found it in a cash register. Pretty cool. Now we're headed to Nestle Toll House. Nestle Toll House. I want dessert. Because somebody wants dessert. Get one of those. Look at the macaroon. Mmm. That looks good. Here, I'll get you one. Ooh. Look at that one. Ooh. Can you buy cookies? Wait a second. What is that? Yeah, just one of those little things, too. I don't have a mind of my own. We're about to see. Mm, what's in it? So, it's probably a pastry cream. It's good. So now we are at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. First time here. I heard it's dope. Surprisingly, they have my name. Honey, that's not surprising. I'd be surprised if they had my name. Mel? Mel is hella common. Sheila's but, not. You don't know. I don't. Do you know another Sheila? Yeah, but there's no other Mel. Look. There's a Melissa. No Melvin. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no Melvin. Huh. It's not a common name. Well, you know you should get this one. The boss. <laughs> the boss. Do you want it? No thanks. Why? Because I'm clearly not the boss. What? That's kind of true. <laughs> I'm waiting for Mel. Oh, I was waiting for Mel. So I'm definitely impressed with the aquarium. It's definitely vast and there's certain parts of it that literally take your breath away. It's kind of overwhelming right now because it's hot and it's really warm and it's crowded and having that Lily Mary didn't really help. It's buzzed. It's okay, not. It happens. That's good. That's a good way to end off the bit. weekend. It's a good way to end off the weekend. And now we're back off to the Bay Area. It's not over. I still got a DJ a wedding in South City tonight, so we're gonna enjoy this ride back home. Um, we're gonna pick up Marco. Oh, show them what we got. So 
I love Christmas and I've been um, trying to collect ornaments of where we, everywhere we go. So. Look how cool. Too bad it doesn't say Monterey Aquarium. Yes. Oh, at the bottom. Nice. So we're sitting in the car. I've been trying to avoid my fantasy football, but can't help it. So I just want to show you really quickly. Hashtag can't help it. I don't know if you oh, can wait, see. North, Drew Brees got me 24 points, right? He's my main quarterback. Who did I bench? Russell Wilson, 43. I know he's Seattle, but still, he got 43 points. And another person I benched, you could see, Chris Ivory, 19 points, and I benched him. It always happens when I have, like, uh, I'm on the fence about a player, and then I put him on bench, and then, of course, they score higher than everybody else. Hi guys, so we just, we got back from Monterey about 3.30. It's about 6.30 now. Uh, Mel dropped me off at the apartment and then he went to a wedding. He's DJing a wedding. So yeah, he drove all the way back. I fell asleep in the car. We dropped off Marco and then um, Mel just kind of dropped me off at home, picked up a shirt, got his equipment, went straight to the wedding. He forgot that he had a wedding, the same schedule as Troy's. And he found out about a week ago, so yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think we would have uh, went to Monterey. Oh, maybe. But anyways, I decided to do some grocery shopping. Um, I'm at my favorite store, which is, do we have a sign here? The El Cerrito Natural Grocery Company. So it's one of my favorite places to go shopping because the produce is really fresh and a lot of local stuff. And it's really busy right now. So look at all these like organic fruits. Ooh, they have pineapple. Love it, love it. And it's, I think it's a lot cheaper than other places. Um, I'm not gonna get too much produce though because Mel likes to go to Costco. I'm not a big fan of getting fruits and vegetables at Costco, but whatevs. I think I'm gonna get the whole chicken, but I don't want the gizzards and stuff in it. I'm gonna get that. That's not bad, $3.99 a pound. What's the difference between the color? Is it more sweet if it's more yellow? Uh, this yellow ones are also good. These ones are my favorite. They really? They are really delicious. They're delicious. One of the things I love about this place is that everything, I mean, everything that you can think of is, is organic, like chocolate lava cake organic. Um, this is what we use for um, gluten-free gluten -free bread, and this is what we also use for the gluten-free um, pizza dough. So coconut flour, coconut flour. All right, I just got out of the grocery store, and then right next door they have a food annex. Which I don't don't think I'm gonna buy anything, but this bag is pretty happy. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Pretty cool. Last time we came here, it was a they have an organic salad bar. So cheap. It's hella cheap. Let me see if they still have it. They still have it, and they always like have the most unique things in it too. Like it's not your typical salad bar. Um, let's see. It got. We got pomegranate. That's cool. Pomegranate, beets, roasted potatoes, cauliflower. That is cool. I haven't seen a pomegranate in a salad bar. Coconut bacon. No way. Let me show you. They've got all this different cheese. And they've got wine over there. Cheese here. This is my favorite part. I got a eclair here one time. There they are. The eclairs are so good. But I'm gonna hold back. I'm not gonna get any because we just indulged all weekend. 
Oh, and then they have really good um, gelato. They have a Sergio Romo ice cream too, which is cool. Mel got that last time. He really liked it. He's got more flowers in. Nice. <gasps> Beautiful. These look fake almost, but they're real. Wow. Okay, I'm digging that. Um, so yeah, Mel's been driving around. I feel bad because I he didn't have time to relax really. He just straight up went and dropped me off and then went to work. <laughs> but um, so I decided that, okay, I'm going to at least make dinner because I haven't made dinner for him in a while. He's probably not going to eat because he's going to be working at a wedding, so he's probably going to eat there, but at least he could eat something for tomorrow. This is the filling for the quinoa patties. What I did was I just took the zucchini, the two, cause the two zucchinis, all of the carrots, onions, parsley, and um, garlic. I put them in my food processor. The quinoa is finished. I'm just waiting for that to cool down to make them. Now I'm prepping my bird. So what I did is I'm taking a pan. I slightly drizzled it with some olive oil. Put thick pieces of onion. I'm just gonna place it down here. And again, this is from Laura Vitali. So if you want the recipe, you could go to Laura Vitali. I think it's laurainthekitchen.com. Have some rosemary in a dish and a bowl. I'm gonna cut some uh, a piece of organic unsalted butter. You know, everybody thinks butter is so bad. No, butter is not bad. If you get 100% pure butter and you get it in moderation, you eat in moderation, it's actually better for you than all the other stuff like margarine and low fat butter. Like they put so much unhealthy processed things in artificial butter, in margarine. You know, I can't believe it's not butter. One like one tub of that is actually worse for you than uh, like a tablespoon of this. So that's just my opinion. And actually it's not even opinion, that's actually a fact. So I'm gonna take maybe a tablespoon or two of this, I'm gonna mix it with the rosemary, then I'm gonna stuff it with the bird. My baste and salt and pepper. I'm gonna put it in the oven for about an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so just made the, some of the quinoa patties. I have a lot left over, and I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator because um, I just want to let it sit and absorb. Not that my regular camera died, so I have to use my cell phone, so the quality might be really bad. But this is how it came out. The quinoa patties are pretty crunchy and moist in the inside. I have a couple just kind of um, sauteing about four minutes uh, left to go. And I'm eating it with, let me show you. Oh yeah, The Walking Dead is on. I know, I probably shouldn't be watching it by myself and wait for Mel to get home. But you know me, I live on an edge. Or at least I think, I think at least I'd like to think so. Um, I'm having quinoa. I mean, not quinoa, kale and mint. So I took some of the kale, chopped that up uh, with some mint, with some mint, and put some salt and pepper and seasoned it with some lemon. So that's my salad. And I'm going to have my quinoa patties on the side. The chicken is still roasting. It's not going to be ready for another hour. So probably we'll get to eat that tonight. All right. You guys enjoy your night. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Bye.